Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and today we will learn the interpretation of red and blue colors on color Doppler ultrasound. When you apply color Doppler, you will notice two distinct colors, red and blue colors inside the blood vessels. The colors are formed based on their relation to the ultrasound probe. By standard orientation, the ultrasound probe is always towards the top of the image. So this top point is taken as the observer. Now when blood in the blood vessel is flowing towards the probe, which is up here, then by standard, by default, the color will be red. In this image, blood is flowing in this direction, in this area, and down here, there are some blue areas. The blood in these vessels is moving away from the ultrasound probe, which is up here. So in this image, this blood is moving downwards, away from the probe. In the second image, the ultrasound probe is again towards the top of the image up here. It is a fixed observer. We see two blood vessels. Both these vessels show different colors. One thing to notice is this color box has oblique walls. It looks like a parallelogram. An oblique dotted line passes through the vessels and it aligns with the walls of this color box. This line forms an angle between the direction of the ultrasound beam emitted from the probe and the direction of blood flow within a vessel. This angle is the Doppler angle or angle of insonation. This is done to get more accurate Doppler values and color formation. Preferably, this angle is supposed to be less than 60 degrees to get accurate Doppler readings. Now keeping in view this angle, the probe which is at the top of the image and the blood vessel orientation, blue color is formed in this vessel because blood is moving away from the probe, which is up here. It is blue because it is moving further away from the top of the image. And this blood vessel is filled with red color because blood is moving towards the top of the image, towards the ultrasound probe. If you look at the red vessel, you can see the red color is getting nearer and nearer to the top of the image. Blood is moving in this direction and towards the probe. Whereas in the blue vessel, if blood is flowing in this direction, it is moving away from the top of the image. That is why it is blue. This is an image of the kidney with color doctor applied. We can see the kidney and now we know the ultrasound probe is towards the top of the image. The red areas in the vessels represent blood moving towards the probe, which is why they are red. So we can determine that this is the direction of the blood in the red vessels. You can see that blood is going into the kidneys through this vessel. So this is the renal artery and its branches. The blood in the blue vessel is moving away from the top of the image, that is the probe. It is moving downwards in the image, away from the kidney as well. So this is the renal vein. This is one of the ways we can distinguish between arteries and veins. When blood flow velocity is higher, the colors become brighter. Blood flow in this region is faster 
than in other regions. That is why this area is brighter. Similarly for blue, this area is brighter because it has a higher blood flow velocity as compared to this area. That's why this area is brighter. Turbulence or irregular blood flow gives mixing of red and blue colors with different brightness levels because blood is flowing in various directions and not in one direction. Now we will look at how the blood flow seen on color Doppler appears on spectral Doppler. This is the spectral Doppler waveform. This horizontal line representing zero velocity is the baseline. By default settings, the red color flow is always seen above the baseline and the blue color flow is seen below the baseline. In the first image, the sample volume is placed inside the blue blood vessel and this is the waveform produced. The blue color flow appears below the baseline on spectral Doppler. In the second image, the sample volume is placed inside the red vessel and this spectral Doppler waveform is produced. The waveform from red color flow is seen above the baseline. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.